The British are invading this year's tour, and Sky's victory is twice as sweet, with Christopher Froome taking the seventh stage, and Bradley Wiggins taking over the top spot in the general classification of the 2012 Tour de France. The seventh stage will feature the first real showdown between the favorites. 199 kilometers await the racers, including three climbs, finishing with La Planche de Bellefille, the tour's first uphill finish. A short but intense finale, with inclines reaching 20%. Riders will have the memory of the chaotic finish of yesterday's stage in the backs of their minds. Some riders had to throw in the towel this morning. One victim was this year's winner of the Giro d'Italia, rider Hesdal. Right from the opening gun, an initial breakaway of 11 riders tried to go it alone, but was quickly reeled in by the peloton. The second attempt fared better, with seven riders breaking free of the main pack. The breakaway includes excellent solitary riders such as the Spaniard Luis Leon Sanchez, the Dane Chris Anker Sorensen, or the Frenchman Christophe Ribelon, who is the best among them in the general classification at 5 minutes and 4 seconds from Fabian Cancellara and his yellow jersey. The breakaway did not dispute the intermediary sprint at Gérard Mer, neither did the peloton as the tour's new strongman, Peter Sagan, was all alone in the front as Goss and Cavendish and the other sprinters strangely let him go. The seven riders out in front were over 5 minutes up on the peloton before attacking the Col de Grosse Pierre the day's first climb. Chris Ankers Sorensen summited first pocketing two points in the race for the polka dot jersey, beating out Luis Leon Sanchez, who took one point. Same story at the summit of the Col du Mont de Fourche, four kilometers down the road, where the Dane edged the Spaniard once again. In the peloton, several favorites of this year's tour, including the Belgian Jürgen van der Broek and the Spaniard Alejandro Valverde, encountered mechanical problems only a few kilometers from the start of the Planche de Bellefille. The peloton attacked the day's final difficulty at a fast pace led by Team Sky, which caught the breakaway out at the start of the climb. Bradley Wiggins and his teammates set a blistering pace as, one by one, most favorites including Leipheimer, Schleck, Menschaff, Roland, and the yellow jersey of Fabien Cancellara would all wilt before the scorching rhythm of the British team. Only Cadell Evans and Vincenzo Nibali would withstand the onslaught. The Australian even tried to steal the stage win in the closing meters. The problem was that Sky was just too strong today. Christopher Froome even took the stage win, his first ever on the tour. Team leader Bradley Wiggins is the new yellow jersey with a 10 second lead over title holder Cadell Evans.